What's up, Kay? <laughs> BJ, what's going on, my man? Can you guys hear us okay? Whoa, sorry about it. Well, hello there. Molly's got her volume turned up. Hello, hello. So, how's everybody doing tonight? We're live. Happy Mother's Gra Day. Happy Mother's Day. Graham, how are you doing? Hope, hopefully everybody had a wonderful weekend. I'm trying to get this stupid thing to come up on my channel here. There we go. Thank you, Super K. Nice. Now I can see the comments. Aw, oh, thank you, Andrew. Hello, Andrew. How are you doing, sir? Drakes? Mark? How's it going? So, did everybody have a good weekend? Was, uh... <laughs> Thanks, BJ. Mommy's day. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Mommy's day. <laughs> did anybody do anything special for Mother's Day? You guys go out and enjoy any uh, wonderful meals at wonderful restaurants or anything? <laughs> Go out and have some, some nice uh, brunch anywhere or anything like that. Thanks, Mark. Hey, hey Penny, how are you doing? Hi, Penny. Made Mom a did, nice breakfast from scratch. That's nice. Did you get your stickers, Penny? Thank you, Me With Knives. Hey, Chad, how's it going? Cauldron? Me With Knives? Penny, no? You haven't got the stickers yet, Penny? Not yet. Huh. I would have expected oh, those yeah. to be there. We got takeout Mexican food and it was delicious. Yeah. Yep, we did. Well, Then we went to a nice little trip to Fleet Farm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice little trip to Fleet Farm. And moved my office back into my office. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, Molly. Molly's going back to her actual office. She's been working from home for what, like six weeks, six or eight weeks. Yeah, eight. Uh, your mom burned through five hundred rounds of twenty-two long rifle. I love it. Nice. We. we I got actually, some ammo today. It's yeah. super exciting. I got some like tracer rounds for my three eighty. Yeah. I'm super pumped. <laughs> These right here. Molly wanted to get some uh, streak tracer rounds for her little three eighty. So. We're going to uh, <laughs> pop those off one of these nights here. Should be pretty cool. Fun, fun. Penny wants to know your PayPal. Oh, uh, it's uh, my email address, Penny. It's info at OCD for EDC. Uh, let me know if you don't if you don't get those stickers in the next couple of days. Let me know and I'll send some more, but... I don't remember what day I sent them on, but I, yeah, I, I mean, it's probably been, I don't know, seven or eight days ago, I would think. I, I don't I know. Don't at remember. least I, I don't know. It's, it's been several days ago. I, I would have thought you for, would have had them by now for sure. But, um, but anyway. <laughs> don't shoot at the aliens over, over Iowa. I will not. Yeah. I am a peaceful people. <laughs> From BJ? Yeah. Yeah. So I was actually on the phone with BJ. This was last Sunday, right? Wasn't it last Sunday? Was it last Sunday? Or I don't was remember it what day before? it was, but days. Yeah, together. everything's all kind of blurred at this point. But uh, if anyone's familiar with SpaceX, uh, what they're calling Starlink uh, satellites, they a whole line of them came over our home, uh, and it was crazy. I I I had no idea what I was even looking at, but then we looked it up online, and and it was very obvious once. We saw all the information about this Starlink program through SpaceX, uh, but it was crazy to see it in person. Yeah, and Justin went outside and then by himself, and uh, he came running back in and hollered at me and our son Paxton. It's like, get out of here now! <laughs> you guys got to see it. It was crazy. We stood there for quite a while. There was like 60 of them or something that went across uh, in a straight line. It was really wild. If you guys haven't ever seen it before... Uh, look it up on YouTube. There's a bunch of people that have captured good videos of it. It's called Starlink. 
uh, but it's a it's a string of satellites. <laughs> he uh, wasn't by himself. He was with me. BJ <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no I, crap. Yeah, I was on the phone with BJ when it happened. He was probably hiding you in the barn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, real quick here, since I'm just flopping this sticker around in my hand, I wanted to give a, a nice shout out to Sharpening Supplies. Uh, if you guys are in the market for any sort of uh, sharpening accoutrement, uh, these guys got you covered. Uh, they've got a really great catalog and they have a lot of really, really great stuff. And yeah, so go check them out. They're a really great company, really good guys up there. Uh, they're from Wisconsin and just have a lot of really great products. So anyway. Thank you, Penny. Just letting you know. Is that the 232 at the bottom? This right here is the 232. <laughs> uh, this is a really fantastic knife. I've been enjoying this thing a lot. I did some custom anno work on it. Uh, you guys can see the video on that. Uh, maybe, I don't know, a month and a half ago or something. I did the anno on this thing. But just a great little like modern Barlow design. Super cool, really dig it. It's 14C28N, uh, blade steel, action on it's great. Really cool little knife. Um, BJ said he was hiding with the Sir Moose a lot. <laughs> yeah. You're just jealous. <laughs> yep. So. I have a Justin and a Moo Moo. <laughs> Justin and a Moo Moo, there you go. So yeah, what's, what's, what's the bearings? Uh, ceramic bearings on this one, if that's what you were asking about. Ceramic bearings and detent ball. Really, really cool little knife for sure. Very, very thinly ground, uh, flat ground blade. It carries extremely well. Really love the jig titanium look. Uh, super cool. And the anno on it turned out awesome. I'm digging the two-tone around the pivot. On the pocket clip and on the back spacer. Yeah, really, really love this knife. It's a good one for sure. No problem, big bore. Anytime you need anything to say so. Um, Penny wants to know what do you think of the Tormac sharpener besides the high price? Oh, uh, the Tormac sharpener. Uh, I've used a couple of them. I've got some friends that have them. Uh, I think. Thanks, Big Red. Hey, Big Red, what's going on, my man? Tell your uh, wife Happy Mother's Day and, you know. Yeah, and tell your mother. All the moms. Tell, tell your mom Happy Mother's Day as well. Let her know we're thinking of her. Hope she's healing up well. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much, Big Red. I really appreciate that. Uh, the Tormek, they work really well. They do take a little bit of, uh, a little bit of practice because you can really uh, <laughs> hog off more material than you think. Uh, when you first start using them, but but they are uh, really great uh, sharpeners that, that do a really nice job. So uh, if you're looking for a powered sharpener like that, uh, yeah, the Tormek is uh, is nice stuff for sure. Tad, you're, uh, you're maybe not wrong on aliens never visiting with all of our trash flying up in the sky. He <laughs> says <laughs> they'd never uh, visit our planet because of all the crap flying around and decide that we're the trailer trash of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. There, There's definitely a lot of trash flying through the sky. There's no doubt about that. So what's what's everyone carrying today? You think I need another Manix, huh, BJ? Yeah, I've got, I've got a couple of good ones here. Shush your mouth. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about this one here in a few minutes. But, uh, but yeah, I've got a few... Uh, few really great uh, Manai here. The Manix is just a fantastic knife. For anyone out there that has never uh, had a Manix, in my opinion, it's the stock standard Manix is really about the best value that uh, Spyderco offers. And I like it better than the PM2. Personally, I like the Ergos better, and I really like the Ball Lock better than, than the uh, Compression Lock, mainly because I'm left-handed. But, but you know, it's it's fully ambidextrous, and it's different than an access lock. I mean, you can see here the action on this is really really great, uh, but the spring tension on the the ball lock is quite a bit more than an access lock, and the the distance that it travels is a lot less. So if you look the with an access lock, 
you know, the access bar moves a considerable distance where with the Manix, it moves very, very little. If I can show that off, it's hard to do one-handed. Hey, Mark, that's the void. Oh, this one here? Mm -hmm. Look at you. Yeah, what up? <laughs> yeah, Molly knows her knives. So, so yeah, the uh, the ball lock uh, doesn't move very far, and you really kind of have to have two fingers on it. It's the spring tension is is quite a bit tougher, but otherwise it's a, it's a phenomenal knife. The void is a really great knife. Uh, this is a sharp by design uh, model. <laughs> this one here was made by Riot, and it's a Brian Nadeau knife. And this one happens to be. Uh, bronze anode with marble carbon fiber. Great little knife. Thank you, BJ. Thank you. <laughs> he said, go Molly. <laughs> yeah. So the Void's really great. It's it's great for doing the whole uh, spidey flicking and that sort of stuff. Action on it is really, really nice. Cool little knife. Uh, so, yeah. It's a lot of stuff people are carrying today. Drake's... Uh... You carried a lot of things today. <laughs> Big boy, you've never handled or carried or owned a Manix, huh? That's uh, that's unfortunate, man. You you should really uh, get involved in some Manix. They're they're fantastic. On the Manix the, XI, the lightweight version is great. the The standard version's great. I, I like them all. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think of my new? Uh, my new uh, Para 3 Lightweight in Maximet. They don't like it. They don't like it? No. So this has become my... Uh, What's up, Rascals? My daily driver beater. What's going on, Rascal? Yo, yo, yo. And, uh, yeah, so I took uh, took the Maximet blade out of the gray G10 scales and swapped it over. I wasn't sure if that was going to work out, but uh, the blade works just perfect in this thing. So, I like the Ergos a little bit better on the lightweight, and I like the pocket clip. The deep carry uh, wire clip is great on the pair of three. Ooh, a 686 Smith & Wesson and a Togbeg Field Marshal. There you go. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, Andrew says the PM2 arrived safely. Right on. Awesome. I saw that earlier and meant to read it, but... Oh. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Got sidetracked. Yeah. So, nice. I'm glad that it arrived safely. Thanks, Hilltop. That's my $5. <laughs> yeah, happy Mother's Day. Thanks a lot, BJ. I appreciate that. It's all going to a new purse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and get it for myself. <laughs> nice. Top right corner. Blasphemy. It should be gray, huh? Top right corner. The wood one. Oh, the wood one. The best tech. This is the Best Tech Ascot, and it is in burl and carbon fiber with little titanium <laughs> pivot collar and pocket clip. Really great knife. You can get it in either a satin blade or this uh, black wash blade. Uh, but personally, I like the black wash. I think it just is, makes it look really classy. Uh, this is quite a large knife. Uh, you're looking at like three and three quarter inch blade. Actually, it might even be bigger than that. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. We'll do it together. It's 3.75 inches. Uh, I'm sorry, 3.915 inches. Ooh, damn, I was close. <laughs> so so just shy of a 4-inch blade on this guy. So it's, <clears throat> it's a good size knife, but a really great one. And action, it's riding on bearings. Great liner lock, flipper. Uh, the only negative that I have about this knife is right on the very end of the flipper tab. You can see that, that one kind of fat deal right there it's a little bit sharp and if you flip it a whole bunch of times uh your finger will kind of it i don't know it's not it's not like painful just kind of get uncomfortable yeah it just kind of gets a little bit uncomfortable but uh but other than that it's great it's got some really really fine jimping up here on the spine of the blade really really nice super comfortable works well and it's just a classy looking knife I really like the wood. It's a gentleman's knife. It is a gentleman's knife. Penny, the bottle baby, is doing great. He is adorable. Yeah. He gives 
kisses and hugs. <laughs> and yeah, he's doing wonderful. Yep. The he's... donkey bites his butt and they chase each other. <laughs> good fun our donkey got out by the way that was exciting why did it get out because somebody left the gate open huh weird yeah and by somebody she means her rascal's, she means her uh, rascal said you had girl hands <laughs> i have girl hands yeah man i'll tell you if these hands were attached to a female body i would hate to see that because <laughs> that would be awkward yeah yeah, I've heard a bunch of guys talking about the, the size of their hands, and I actually measured my hands. Um, I had somebody asking, lay, lay one of your hands flat down there. Uh, the other way, palm up. Can you? So, I don't know, what is your hand measure? I don't, I don't know. even know. But anyway, um, there's, a, there's a, a massive difference there. And across this part of my hand right here, uh, it's about four and an eighth. Um, so, and I don't have little hands for a lady. Yeah, no, she she doesn't have tiny, tiny hands, but... You can measure it if you want. Yeah, I don't have any good way to measure it right at the moment. It's not a big deal, but... <laughs> Knife and farm show, love it. <laughs> but I can assure you that that if, if you came across the female that had these paws, uh, you, you wouldn't be <laughs> super impressed, I'm sure. Yes, me with knives, absolutely. There's no lock, but he definitely... Can use his lips oh so gingerly and open gates. Oh. I believe it in my heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, funny. Oh, here we go. Um, um, um. Size, nope, I don't wear a size 18 ring. I actually wear a size, uh, well, in the groove rings, I wear a size 14 because that's the largest that they go. Uh, it's still a little bit tight, so <laughs> I have to stretch them out a little bit when I get them. Uh, but like in a standard ring, um, you can see... There, it's, it's a little bit tight on me. Uh, but in a standard ring size, I'm a size 16. So if that gives you any sort of reference to the size of my hands, uh, oh, my Rascal. ring finger's a 16. Rascal wears an 18, so he's got... There you go. Them big hands, So he's too. got fatter fingers than I have. <laughs> the donkey's two guys in a costume, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's why he won't give in and be our friend. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Who knows? Well, they're vegans. I know that. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to move some stuff out of the way. Cuff here. his legs. No. Does anyone uh, have the Kaiser Maestro? It's definitely a cool one. Hi, Don Bomb. Don Bond, how's it going, sir? I don't know what the hell I did right there. So, probably while you're chasing the donkey or something. Yeah, probably. We yeah, out. I had to go and, and get the donkey. So that's probably... He fought me a little bit. It was a bit of a, an ordeal. Everybody likes the Kaiser. Everybody likes... Yeah, the Kaiser the Kaiser Maestro is a cool knife for sure. I really like it. I really like the coating on the titanium. Thanks, Dom. Definitely a cool, cool knife for sure. Not a whole lot's cooking for Mother's Day. We just went to Fleet Farm and picked up some dinner, moved my office, and that was it. Yep. It's been pretty pretty relaxed I'm around out here. With my baby cow. Yeah. It's They're... fun to flip in the store while people give funny looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hi Lion Knives. Hey Lion Knives, what's up? Did you see the new Kaiser Assassin? I have not seen the Kaiser Assassin. I, well, I don't know. That sounds familiar. I, I I can't picture it in my head, but I, I don't know. I'll, I'll check it out when we're done here. Any idea why the smock liners aren't straight? The what? The smock liners aren't straight? The smock liners aren't straight. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. The liners on my smock are straight. Hi, Mike. Welcome to the channel. Hey, Mike. How you doing? I don't. Who who asked that about the smock? Um, num, 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 super K. Any idea why the smock liners aren't straight? I I don't know. I don't know what you're asking me, man. Uh, I've had a few smocks. And... You can't center the blade with the micarta scales. Oh, you change the scales and then you're having issues centering the blade. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. 
Hey, Justin, what's going on, my man? Um, I've done some of my card. I've done some mod work on a few different smocks for some people. Uh, and the uh, uh, if your scales are not milled flat, you are going to have some issues, and that's a problem uh, because the the liners, in my experience, the liners can be easily pushed out of straight uh, if the scales are not perfectly flat. So you may have to do a little bit of finesse work there to, to get it all straight and working correctly. Um, anytime you change one of these production knives and start putting aftermarket parts on them, uh, you can have some issues. Yeah. Uh, BJ, no, I did not get Justin a new knife for Mother's Day. No, I didn't get it. I should have. That sounds like a phenomenal idea. Why what didn't I get anything for Mother's Day? It, because it hasn't shown up yet. It's, that's always, always the excuse. It's the and perfect sometimes, excuse. Sometimes it never comes. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, happened. Maybe. That's maybe. happened a couple times this year already. A couple times this year? You, with all the animals and shit that you have running around here, and you're going to tell me that, that you don't get what you want? Is that what's going on here? I didn't say that. Oh, oh okay. I just right. like a little, you know... <laughs> She's a acting bonus for <laughs> she... like the laundry and the dishes and the cleaning and the cooking. Oh, huh. Weird. Yeah. Anyway, we're <laughs> going to have to take this up off camera. No, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know where, where we were here, but, uh, Mugen Freeman's doing good. <laughs> yeah. Mo old Mugen. Sir moves a lot. I, BJ, you stay out of this. I don't care if I got a cow I did that with my own. I sold You're... the horse to get the cow. Oh boy, here we go. So now I deserve, I don't know, something. So Justin, we got... why didn't you buy Molly a knife that he really wanted for Mother's Day? Now that I would not put past him at all. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Um, and and that that's happened, uh, kind <laughs> of. So... Uh, Molly might get a new gun. How'd I get the horse? I have a job, BJ. <laughs> <laughs> Good man, BJ. Keep on her. Keep on you her. You guys know I work, right? <clears throat> not just but chilling. her corner hasn't been very busy lately, so <laughs> it's not really work. <laughs> it's hard with the Rona. <laughs> yeah, right. So so we have a knife here that we I was hoping that we were going to have for last week's show. If anyone was out there or anybody was in here, I know a bunch of people were, uh, last week for the shit show, <clears throat> um, we have a knife. <laughs> Rascal that... just said we're nuts. He said, Mike, you have no idea what you walked into. These people are nuts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you may have walked into something crazy and wait till you see this because... You're welcome. <laughs> so, so I this is a... It even says on the package that it's a real thing. Uh, but I was blown away when I came across this. And I was really hoping that we were going to have it for last week's shit show because it was so fitting. And it just... Yeah, it was so like, sad. Like Molly's Mother's Day gift, it didn't show up in time. <laughs> so... Uh, that is such bullshit. <laughs> that's not bullshit. This I, I ordered this weeks before guys, that show. Guys, you and gotta... And it did not show up in time. You gotta, um... Like... Maintain on my. If I don't show a gift I got next Sunday, next Sunday you'll she'll know have her that Mother's he's Day full gift. of shit. <laughs> next Sunday she'll have her Mother's Day gift. Honestly, guys, I didn't even know it was Mother's Day until like Thursday <laughs> this week. I didn't realize it was this coming Sunday. Oh, so, Jesus! That's that's totally on me, and I'll take that. But anyway, let's get to this because this is hilarious. Yeah. So, so this didn't show up on time, and it was really quite sad. Yeah, and. <laughs> Don't touch me there. You know how emotional <laughs> I was get. on your boob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. Okay, so this is, I'm just going to throw it out there. Here it is, guys. <laughs> this is the actual real deal poop knife. It's a real thing. This is a poop knife. I want, I want everyone to realize what we're talking it's about here. This use is solely for... Poop. poop. <laughs> and I'm and I'm gonna show you. We're gonna use the smock uh, to open this bad boy up. No, this is not the giveaway. No, this yeah th yeah we have a giveaway coming up. So stay stay with us. <laughs> if this grosses yes, you exactly. out, I'm sorry. Mike, Mike, the new subscriber knows it's a turd cutter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a turd cutter. 
I found this when I was looking for shit show knives, and I was blown away because I I had never heard of this or seen this before. Rascal says, "See, Mike, I told you." <laughs> yeah. So first off, uh, I don't know. We don't have. I don't have a tape measure here, but oh, anyway, no. this thing is. We're gonna say it's. <laughs> Where's the test medium? <laughs> We, yeah, we don't have any of that uh, oh. right at the moment. I'm going to say it's nine and a half or ten inches long. It's probably got somewhere in the neighborhood of a, a little over four, four and a quarter inch cutting edge on this bad boy. <laughs> Super it is. I, you ruined it. My wife thought that was the giveaway. <laughs> oh, no, this Sorry. is not the giveaway. We actually, yeah, we'll, we'll get into that here in a few minutes. Um, the scat scalpel. <laughs> this is silicone. Uh, there is... Uh, <laughs> A structured core. It does have some si some sort of uh, metal inside the core. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's got stainless steel in there. It says on there. Does it say it on there? I believe so. Okay. Go so, ahead. well, I want that. Oh, okay. So, here is uh, the poop knife packaging. This is the best part. So, I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but this is toilet paper in the background <laughs> of this little shit emoji here. But check out the back. Of this. This is hilarious. It says, yes, this is for real. Do you, your friends, or family poop big? Do these logs sometimes need a little help going down? Endlessly spinning poops will mock you from the toilet vortex no more. Original poop knife will chop the most compacted of brownies, the most seasoned of sausages, the hardwood of butt logs, the longest of sewer snakes, the most ferocious of bog crocodiles, and the fattest of heavy Havanas. Havana, ooh, na, na. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, na, na. Uh, it says, never to be mistaken for a box opener again, this poop knife is one of a kind. Made from metal reinforced silicone, it is strong, hygienic, and easy to clean. <laughs> Guaranteed not to turn into a rusty, pungy stick. Be the samurai of the porcelain poo-poo platter. Hashtag the original poop knife. <laughs> D distributed by originalpoopknife.com. Of course it comes from California by way of China. So this truly is the shit knife. But it really it, is. But will it cut through Vegemite poop? I don't the, know. The comments I don't know. that happened I'm during sure. that. Oh, yeah. Were they good ones? So good. So good. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Yeah, that's awesome. So this is an actual shit knife. Um, so I don't know the durometer uh, of this here silicone. Uh, it's not super tough, but... but Channel mascot, exactly. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the channel mascot, and I'm a, I might customize this somehow, uh, do a little mod work to my, my sweet, sweet shit knife here. Everybody um, wants it tested to know you, how much it can cut before the edge rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you can see here that there is an actual edge. Um, and uh, maybe I'll do a full review of the poop knife. Uh, so we'll we'll see. Oh, put your sticker on it. That's a good plan. Yeah, that, that can work. Make it a Tonto. The channel ascot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the sticker will work out well. So there uh, you go. There's a little view of with the sticker on it. So you guys are hilarious. So anyway, uh, I had to show off the poop knife. I thought it was hilarious, and yeah. So this is you're gonna see this on the channel some more, and it's gonna be a good whooping stick too because it's got a little bit of uh, weight to it. So yeah, thing's pretty awesome, and you can see you've got a really nice ergonomic handle here. So yeah. I don't know. You're getting thumb a, little, ramp. a little too close for comfort with the poo, if you I can, ask me. I can dice a turd like nobody's <laughs> business. <laughs> so, oh. anyway, there we go. We got so that the, was a fun find. Yeah, that was a fun find for sure. And as soon as we found that, it, that had to had to uh, make its way here. Yep, yep. So that was a tremendous amount of fun. You know, it goes. Oh yeah, we need a sheath for it. Goes along with the watch. I'm, yeah, I disassemble. Can, there's nothing to disassemble. Yeah, there's nothing to disassemble here unless I just straight up cut it. But maybe I'll hit up Micah over at Black Bear Custom Kydex, see if he can make me a, a sheath for this sweet, sweet, sweet uh, turd skewer. But how's it throw? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so funny. 
Oh, uh, yeah, Cauldron, uh, the watch. This is equally as retarded. Um, and, uh, yeah, this, this badass uh, watch right here, it, you can tell time in two different time zones as well as this dial up here is a thermometer in Celsius. And then you also have a sweet compass down here at the bottom that eh, kind of works. Um, sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. So... Hey, Winchester. What's going mm -hmm. on, Winchester? So, who else out there has the shit knife? Does anyone else, or has any? Well, I, we, one guy for sure saw this, right? He knew what it was as soon as I well, I'm, whipped it out. Yeah, I'm guessing. Nice. Yeah, I love it. Yep. The a lot shit of people knife. think that, you know, it'd be great for spreading peanut butter and jelly. Oh, or, yeah, for yeah, sure. I mean, I'm sure it would do a lot of things really well in the kitchen. I mean, it it, it would absolutely be a good spatula type uh, situation. <laughs> and then if you need to dice up some turds, I mean, it says it's hygienic, you know. Yeah, but you got to... Uh, <laughs> good for ketchup, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mick says his is stainless steel, so he must have one. <laughs> oh, his is stainless, huh? And this one might be stainless. I don't know. It just says reinforced with... The, I can't remember what it said on there now. It says uh, made from metal reinforced silicone. So, <laughs> and you can see that that turd right there is worried. That's a worried look yeah. on a turd's face right there. That turd's scared for its life. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a scared turd right there. Make it into a butterfly knife trainer and sell them for a few hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of calling it the squiddy, I can call it the shitty. <laughs> oh my god, rascal! What did he say? Uh, he said, "I don't cut my turds." I'm oh. guessing I go to the Home Depot parking lot to hire turd cutters. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, funny. All right. So. Should we. Uh, so we got the shit knife out of the way. Throwing some other stuff out here. It's a little, little custom anno work here. <laughs> what? Wonder what their quality control dude looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have no idea. So this knife is something that's come up in conversation multiple times in the last few weeks. Uh, anyone out there have, this here is the SK Blades version, but anyone out there have a Buck Marksman? Or the, the SK Blades Inferno or Grey Ghost? This is a sweet, sweet knife. Still one of my all-time favorite EDC knives. Bunzo says the Marksman is awesome. It is awesome. Bunzo, you're a good man. You can spidey flick it. It's a flipper. It does all the things. You can mm -hmm. thumb. Manny Z says thumb me. flick it. Yeah, it's a great, great knife. Love this knife. It's, in my opinion, it's one of the best all time for fidget factor. Uh, it just, it's so good. Taz says they're forbidden there. They're forbidden. Yeah, not allowed there. Oh, too big. Chad, you better get one, man. There, that's such a good knife. One of my, like I said, one of my all-time favorites. Needs to be a Tonto, though. Uh, they do make the Marksman in a Tonto. You can get the if you buy the Buck version with the aluminum scales, you can get a Tonto. The SK Blades version. This is G10, um, and this is the Inferno. So the it comes with the blade and all the hardware is black washed, and the scales were. Uh, orange G10, just like this Ritter Hogue. I dyed these to look like this, so you can still kind of see the orange. I did this intentionally. Uh, I wanted it to... I didn't want it to just be black, uh, so I did kind of a two-step process doing Rit dye on this. And uh, it's held up extremely well, and just a fantastic knife. Mm, any kind of assist is not allowed in oh these aren't assisted this is a, a full fully manual knife see it just it, the action on it is uh, amazing so it may look assisted but it is not 
<clears throat> hey, Blade Banner, what's going on? Your yours is still orange. So yeah, I uh, I I writ dyed this dark gray, and what I did was I used hot glue and filled all the the milled lines in here and these kind of stair step pattern uh, top and bottom, and then I writ dyed it in the dark gray. Uh, for, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 minutes, something like that. And then I peeled the hot glue out and then writ dyed it again for just like a minute. Uh, so you can still see the orange coming through in the milled lines. And it's kind of hard to show it on camera, but... What's the name again? Well, this particular one, this exact model right here is called the SK Blades Inferno. Uh, but if you look for the standard Buck version, it's called the Buck Marksman or the 830. Uh, and the the Buck version of this knife is 154 cm blade steel with aluminum scales. Uh, pocket clip is reversible for right or left tip up carry, and it is a full deep carry clip. You can see there, uh, the clip screws in on the bottom here. Um, but they offer it in the drop point or a tanto. Uh, for the buck version and then SK blades has a gray one uh, with satin blade that's a drop point just like this and their G10 uh, that one's called the gray ghost and then this one here is called the inferno and instead of the 154 cm these have s35 vn you can see it's a grant and gavin hawk design with the uh, paul boss heat treat it's it's an awesome knife and the SK Blades version is about the same price as the Buck version. And in my opinion, it's it's uh, you get a lot of upgrades. So, anyway, <laughs> amazing knife. If anyone has never checked one of these out, I highly recommend it. Just an awesome, awesome knife. What's the giveaway? The giveaway. All right. So, does everyone have their wives, girlfriends? How many ladies do we have in the house right now? Oh. Single ladies. <laughs> All single ladies. ladies. <laughs> Actually, this is not so much about single ladies. Yeah, I but... just... <laughs> Every time we say ladies the last few days, I think that. Yeah, yeah. Molly and I have... This is kind of an inside joke, if you will, but... Oh, your Drake's mom's here, mom's Drake's. Nice. Awesome. All right, so we need your mom's name, Drake. What's your mom's just first name? Not, we yep, know, we're not I, getting crazy here. We just I need just a name. I just need the ladies' first names... Your girl's lying down, Mark. What's what's your girl's name, Mark? We have a Michelle. Michelle, perfect. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Jenny. Jenny, okay. We have a Lizette. Lizette, cool name. Yep. Yeah. Rose. Rose. Celia. Celia. Martha. Carrie. Martha. Carrie. It was K-A-R-I, right? Yep, Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> Pamelina. Paul Molina. Paul, Paul Molina, okay. Oh, yeah. Paul Molina. Raquel. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> and Lori. Raquel. So we're writing these down, or Molly's writing these down as you guys are saying these, so oh, bear with finished. us here. Nice. Mother's name is... San... Sestiana? Is yeah. that how you say that? I'm going to guess Sestiana. Se Sestiana? Mm-hmm. Um, San... I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. Um, that's too bad. And... Chiquita? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then Rascal Carol Baskin. Carol, oh. Yeah, Carol Baskin's a bitch. Ooh, animal nutrition. I could use some of that info. <laughs> Re Roberta, Elizabeth. Hold on a second. We have Robin. Okay. Trudy. I need to get some scissors. Um, Lion Knives. Wife. Or... Wife, girlfriend, 
the the female in your life. Yeah, the female in your life. And just so just so everybody knows that we're not joking around about this. Um, so it can be your mom. Yeah, you yeah, absolutely. Have a lady. Yeah. Or if you like your mom better, which you know, Joe Exotic, <laughs> Kara, Sherry, or Sherry. Sashiana. Nice. So that was pretty close, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's where we were. Sandra. I think we might have two of those. Uh, yeah, I think we do have... Yeah, we already have Sandra. So... All right. So here's here's the names that we got, guys. Mm -hmm. So be, be nice to us here and... Dill. Um... And, yeah, write them in an order that we can see them in and all that sort of stuff. Uh, how many names you got there? Um, hold on. We have... I'm behind on the chat. Oh, okay. Oh, another Jennifer. Have... So I'm going to put Jet after this. Well, you have, well we, the other this... is Jenny. Yeah, Jenny. So Jennifer will work. Okay. You and have a Kim. Sherry. Hold on. Roxy, Louise, Elizabeth, that's my sister's name. Okay. Jovan, I actually have a friend from high school whose wife Did you write, is named Jovan. Move your hand real quick. Kim. Kim. Anna, Karina, for real? You know that's a classic, right? <laughs> What's this? Anna, well, oh wait, no, I think that's Anna Karenina. Hey Shane, what's going on? Um, your wife's Jessica, is that correct? Shane? We're, do we're doing a giveaway right now and we need the your wife's name. Jovan, Maria. Got Kim. Jackie. Melissa. Victoria. Do we have two Sandras? Yeah, that's what I said. Well, we already had one. And of course, Penny. Jessica. Yeah, mom's count. Yep. We'll give it a couple more minutes. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to run down the names that we have. You guys tell me if, if we're missing something here. All right, so we have Elizabeth, Sheree. Norma, uh, Shaniqua, is that actually? I, I'm is, guessing. Is that, is that a joke or is that a real one? Let us know for real, guys, because this is actually, we're actually doing a giveaway based off this, so. Yep, we got Norma. Okay, and then we have C Celia, Jenny, Cherie, mm -hmm. uh, Martha, Anna, Carrie, Louise, Sandra, Rose, Lori, Roxy, Lizette, Sestiana, Paul Molina, mm -hmm. Elizabeth, Jennifer, Kara with a C, Sandra Moss. So is is there actually two Sandras? Yeah, do uh, we have two Sandras? Because I got kind of... We have Michelle, Ashley, Raquel, Robin, Roberta, Trudy. I know Chiquita was a joke. BJ. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Zara? Is that how you would say that? Um, yeah, I guess Zyra. Zyra, Zyra maybe, yeah. Yep, and I got Jovan. I know that's a real name. Yeah, that's... Jovan. Perfect. 
Okay? And then on this other page, we have... Give me that page. So we got some more names here. Give me just a second. We have got Jovan, Kim, Anna Karina, Maria, Jackie, Melissa, Victoria, Penny, Jessica, Carla, Christine, and I'm sorry if I butcher this, Z Zyra, Zara? Zara. Zara. Andrew, I, I'm, I know that's... We have your, Maria, correct? Uh, yeah, we did. Let me see. I know I wrote her down. Do you see it? Is it on that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we, we have, have Maria. Maria. And no, this is not for the the RSK orange. No. No, the giveaway items are not on the screen. Yep. You cannot see the giveaway items yet. So Yeah, we we'd rather just one name. So do I need to remove one, Michael? And just so we're clear, these are these are uh, female items. Since it's Mother's Day, this this is for the ladies. So guys, trust me when I tell you, um, the girls are are. I hope the girls are pumped about this, but you're not going to be super pumped. So if you threw a name in here thinking that it's going to be that RSK or something, it's not. Yeah, we got Ashley. You put Carrie and Sherry. Okay, so. What would you prefer we keep in? Carrie with a K. I've got Carrie with a K and Sherry. Sherry, C H E R I E. Oh, that's C H E R R A Y. There, there's two. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. We're trying to get this all okay. laid so out gonna here. Okay, so we're going to keep Carrie and take the C-H-E-R-I-E out. Take that one out? Okay, yeah. got it. Okay. Are we good? I think so. All right. So, we've got... Yep, we got Roxy Taz. All right, All so right. so here I'm gonna run down the li list of names one more time before we do this. So we have Zariah, Z Zariah. I don't know how to Andrew. Your your lady. <laughs> I don't. I can't. I don't know what her name is. And then we have Maria, Victoria, Penny, Jessica, Jovan, Elizabeth, Chere, Cherie. Norma, Kim, Carla, Christine, Melissa, Anna Karina, Celia, Jenny, Jackie, Martha, Anna, Carrie with a K, Louise, Sandra, Rose, Lori, Roxy, Lizette, Sestiana, Paul Malena, Melina, uh, Elizabeth, Jennifer, Kara with a C. Uh, Sandra, Michelle, Ashley, Raquel, Robin, Roberta, and Trudy. And I got a couple more, but okay. Oh, we have Sarah. That we have one's another not in Ashley. There. So Ashley Gianetti. I'm gonna put you as Ashley G. Okay. All right. And then we've got two Ashleys. We have two Elizabeths? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, we just had one Elizabeth. Yeah, just one Elizabeth. We have Lizette and Elizabeth. Yeah, that's probably what you're thinking, BJ. Okay. Okay. All Those right. two are the last ones, and then we're going to... So the way we're doing this, guys, we are we have two uh, prize packs, if you will, two little gift packs for the ladies, and so we're gonna put all these names in a bowl, and we're gonna draw two of them. So mm -hmm. we're good there. Those yep. are the names. Yep, that's we're stopping there. All right. 
So. No, sorry, it doesn't include the poop cutter. Nope. Sorry, bro. Nope. Like I said, the gifts that you're gonna get are not on the screen. <laughs> you have not. You have not seen any part of it yet. Oh. Um, Ashley says we're besties. <laughs> I have a friend and desperate much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, we are folding up uh, all these papers with names on them and putting them in a bowl right now. Actually, we can do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> there you go. Here, give me some. Yeah, take some give of Give me some, Dad. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, guys. So, we hope that all the lovely ladies out there had a wonderful Mother's Day and that your children were nice to you <laughs> and... Got you uh, flowers and such or whatever that you were hoping for. Yes, I remember you, actually. I was just being yeah. a dork. Yeah. <laughs> I wondered where you went. Yeah, we haven't haven't seen you on the uh, videos for a little while. So, uh, one other thing that uh, we haven't talked about yet. My lovely wife spent the time to... I've had multiple people asked me if I was going to do a Patreon uh, and Molly actually took the initiative to do all that stuff for me it looks quite involved I don't know I didn't have to, I didn't get completely involved in it although I did at the very end um, so that's something that I have currently so if anyone's interested you can go and check that out uh, there'll be some more coming on that soon uh, so there's multiple different levels of patreon support and all that sort of stuff um but like i said i'll i'll do a video that like talks all about it and the different levels and whatnot yeah i am the brains in this outfit yeah Rascal, for sure for sure yep i'm the dictionary i do all the spelling yes all the typing <laughs> yep yep there's things that there's all certain the grammar things. not all the grammar but you know yeah certain things that i don't do Okay, so we got all the names in there. We'll post the link to the Patreon yeah, the, in the description. The link will be in the uh, description below, and uh, you guys, like I said, will hear more about that coming very, very soon. Okay, so here's the deal. Drake got... is not good at spelling because he tried to type spelling <laughs> many <laughs> nice. times. Nice, nice, that's awesome. Um, that's like me. Yeah, right. Spelling is not my strong suit. You know uh, what, Drake. Okay, so... Uh, we're just going to draw two names and, and then there's going to be one that is, uh, for prize pack number one and one for prize pack number two. And all right. You ready? Yep. Go ahead and draw the first yeah. name. This is for prize pack number two right now. The first winner is Roxy. So Taz Roxy. World. Nice. Roxy. And what you are winner number one. You have at, won. What you have won is, is first off. You get this right here. This oh. is Scent Sensationals. Oh, was that? Yeah, okay. It is, uh, I don't even know what the hell this thing is. It's a scent warmer, uh, a wax warmer. It's a plug-in one, so oh. a smaller one that you can put uh, wax in. And... Hold, hold on a minute here, because this might be an issue. Oh, uh, I'm why? pretty sure. Taz's world, he's from Australia. Is this going to work in Australia, Taz? Do you guys have different plugs? My guess is this isn't for international. Can you adapt it? Or is this a problem? If it is a problem, we'll get something different to send to you. You just let me know. Yeah. Um, yeah. If that's a problem, we'll get you something. We'll get her something else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Roxy wins regardless whether this is an issue or not. Let us know. Um. Yeah. Anyway, so there's some uh, warm apple pie scent stuff to go along with it. Uh huh. And then and also, additionally, and additionally, you get this sweet, sweet piece right here. And if you were not, yay Zayra. pie. Zayra. There we go, Andrew. Zayra. Perfect. So this sweet, sweet pink cowgirl hat uh, knife right here that was in last week's uh, shit show. If you weren't here to see it, uh, let me open this bad boy up there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. You don't you don't find that kind of quality just anywhere. So, you know. 
<laughs> he says no. no. <laughs> All right, Taz, you tell us if um, if this is good, then we are going to send this to you. Yeah, uh, Rascal said the adapter isn't a problem; it's the voltage that matters. So that we'll just have to see. Okay, is that is that going to be a problem, Taz? I'm not. Although I would love to visit Australia someday, um, I have never been there. So, yeah. We can email about it, too. And, yeah. again, if it's going to be a pain in the butt or whatever, we'll send we'll, the, Yeah, we'll send something different. Uh, something, yeah, that doesn't plug in. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, not a problem. Uh, so, send me an email, Taz. My email will be in the description. It's info at ocdforedc.com. And then we can figure it out from yeah. there. He doesn't think it's going to be a huge problem, but he'll get to Okay. This. All right. No problem. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And then we got one more name here. One more name. Kim. Kim. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We got Roxy and Kim. Kim, so, are you watching? Who's the Kim? Yeah. I don't remember. That was too long ago. Too many names ago. They're saying it's buffering. Oh. Uh, we haven't seen Kim yet. I'm going back in the chat to see who. Okay. Who 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 does Kim? Is Kim watching, or is she? Was that the spouse of someone, or what? Joseph Kasparik. Joseph. His wife is Kim. Okay. Joseph K. Are you still in here, man? Joseph K. Calling your name, sir. <laughs> well, I mean. But we don't know who he is. We, he needs to be able to email me or something, his address and all that stuff. Right. So if right. he's not in here any longer, we're going to pass on that and go to someone else. Hello? Joseph? Okay. Going once, going twice. Oh, no, no. I don't know. Here, pick another name just in case. <laughs> Clearly, jo Joseph. Oh, here we go. Here we oh, go. Oh, here it goes. My wife, she is sleeping. That's fine. That's fine, Joseph. You Okay, so you're in here. All right, so your wife won. And so my email, it will be in the description below, uh, or it's in the description of all my videos, but it's info at OCD for EDC. So send me an email, but this is what your wife won. So this is even a larger scent sensationals along with some warm apple pie. And this one like sits on a table uh, and uh, it lights up and I don't know, smells good, I guess. So yeah, it's like it you says, don't know what they do. We have them all over. Oh, it's just like that? Yeah, same okay. thing, just different design. Different design, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is a full-size warmer, where the other one is an accent warmer. I, well, anyway, there you go. So you got that, and then you also got... Oh, what did I do with that? Oh, here it is. Got too much junk laying around here. You also got this sweet, sweet little piece right here. The Sweetheart's Knife. Tell your wife to be careful. Yeah. She's going to get all the men with this. <laughs> yeah. So, so this sweet, bedazzled rhinestone assisted assisted gold ruby <laughs> beauty the, with the love pocket clip and everything now there were a bunch of people that said that these the lock failed on these um <laughs> i have no doubts that theirs did the lockup is really solid on this one i mean i haven't used it for anything but so i don't think that this particular knife is unsafe in any way uh, but, but be aware. But be aware that there were there were people saying that these have been an issue with uh, lock failing. Uh, so anyway, with that all being said, this it's, really more of a joke. It's more than about the warmers. We just had to throw in some silly knives. Yeah, too. yeah, we just threw in some crap knives just for fun. We know that the ladies don't really care about that, or well, some I mean, some, some do. Yeah, it just depends. But but it's more about giving the the ladies. Something decent with the scent things because we stink, and that's fine. Yeah. So is it fine though? <laughs> so there's there is the stuff that'll be coming to Kim. So Joseph, hit me up, send me emails, uh, and then we'll get that stuff squared away. 
All right. Uh, so now we're kind of at the end of this whole ordeal here. And I said right from the get-go that I was going to talk about this knife. <clears throat> uh, so this is the Manix 2 Lightweight. This is a Cutlery Shop exclusive in CPM S90V. Really cool knife. And as uh, if you didn't already know, these are pinned construction, which sucks. Uh, there's a few things that really suck about this knife that it well, it's just it's just a bummer. Uh, they did a great job. The pocket clip, the Chicago hardware for the pocket clip, uh, the the support or the backspacer that houses the spring and everything for the the bearing lock and the blade obviously is all DLC coated and it's all black. And they didn't put black hardware in it. It just I can't. It just doesn't even make sense because they make several other lightweight versions that do have black hardware, even on the pinned ones. So it just seems silly to me that they didn't do black hardware on this model. The other thing that is kind of a bummer, I wish that the backspacer would have been black. So anyway, with all that being said, um, I've actually found an outlet where I can get a uh, black coated Chicago screws that are the correct dimension to replace these rivets. Now, it's a, you know, I'm sure not everyone's going to want to replace these rivets because it's going to require drilling them out uh, to replace them. However, uh, that's something that if you wanted that done, uh, you know, there's any number of guys out there that do knife mods, myself included, BJ Hill, several other people out there. Uh, could do that for you, but uh, but anyway, um, I, I should have those Chicago screws this coming week, and as long as they are as advertised, then they will fit perfectly, and so I'll give you guys an update about that. One of the other things about this knife that's kind of disappointing is the pocket clip is not a deep carry, and I will show you why that's such a bummer, uh, because when they did this, you know, on the lightweight Spyderco's, they do the Spyderco logo, and that's right where the pocket clip lands. And because of this heavy texturing that's on the FRN, you really need the tension spot on the clip to land right on that area, or you won't be able to get the thing in and out of your pocket. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, well, I'm going to swap that out with a knife that has a black uh, wire a deep carry wire clip. So this Sage 2 here has a deep carry wire clip, which is perfect, and it fits on there just perfect. And I'll show you. And I thought, oh, this is going to be great because I would really like it if it had a deep carry clip. And so there you go. Deep carry clip looks awesome. Wah, wah. The friction point of where the, the clip hits the knife is behind the logo of the knife or you know the the smooth pad so now it makes it next to impossible to get in or out of your pocket because those little teeth on the frn just grab a hold of your pants material and about rips them out so it's just disappointing uh as far as i know i've looked through all the spider codes that i have um they all have a different, or basically they're all the same where they hit. So you can see here that the spot where they actually put pressure is the same. The difference is this sticking up on the back side. So that's what moves this down. So that's the difference right there. Even though the pocket clip is the same length, um, it's just how it mounts to the knife is the difference. And so that's just a bummer. And, you know, I know there's all sorts of little things, and I'm sure there's a bunch of people that are going to tell me, oh, just sand that down and whatnot. And, you know, there's all sorts of things that I can do, and, and I fully understand that. Um, and, you know, I'm not worried about this one knife and whatnot. I was trying to figure something out that was just going to be easy for everyone uh, to be able to order this pocket clip or whatnot. And, and they, you know, they've made it to where it's just going to be difficult to figure, you know, if, if you want to make the deep carry pocket clip work, a black Spyderco wire clip, um, you're going to have to modify the scale in order to make it work correctly. 
and I don't know of any aftermarket uh, deep uh, deep carry wire clips. Um, none that I know of or off the top of my head anyway. So I'm going to have to do a little research, try and figure that out. But it was just a bummer because I feel like it should have come with a deep carry clip. And it damn sure should have come with black hardware. Kluver said they offer the right size one for six ninety five, dollars But I don't know if they have them in black. Oh, okay. So, so you can get a deep carry wire clip for this. That's what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll have to check it out and see if they do care, offer it in black. It's just a bummer. They, I don't know why they didn't just ship it with a deep carry clip, um, or move that the the smooth spot on the scale back a little bit so it works with the deep carry clips as well. But. Yeah, and why they didn't put black hardware on here is beyond me. Action on it's great. Otherwise, it's a great knife. It's perfect in every other way. Um, the the backspacer is is a bummer. Um, it just would have looked so much better to me if they would have carried the black all the way through on the backspacer. And they already went the extra mile to do the this piece of hardware and the pocket clip black why not do the other pins and screws i don't know just seems like an opportunity missed there to me <clears throat> but if you look at this ritter hogue uh you know i did some work on this to get the black dlc blade in this thing but even in the full blacked out version the liners are still uncoated even though the clip and all the hardware is coated uh the liners are not so it's just kind of a bummer. I feel like the, on the knives, if you're going to go murdered out, do, do the whole thing. All the parts. And, you know, they do offer other knives that do have uh, liners that are coated. So, I don't know. Just seems odd to me. Where are you go getting those screws from? Uh, for this, uh, McMaster Car. There you go. McMaster Car. <clears throat> do it to them. Yeah, they're a, for those that don't know, McMaster Cards, like an industrial supply place. Um, they have tons of hardware and machine tools and all kinds of different things, if you're not familiar with them. <laughs> a bunch for all your Mannixes. Yeah, so um, as long as they work out correctly and they're the right size... I'll probably just buy a whole bunch of them, and then if uh, I'll, I'll make a video and update everyone. If you want some, I'll uh, uh, send you some or whatever. I don't know. They're they're not very expensive. What's it not called a big again? Deal. What? What's the place called again? McMaster Car. McMaster Car. <clears throat> yeah. He said, "Master what?" <laughs> <laughs> and do they have titanium? They have all kinds of stuff. It it's mass. They're like Granger or. They have liter li quite literally millions of different SKU numbers, and I mean they're an industrial supply place. If you have one of their catalogs, it's inches thick, many inches, like six inches. I always call this hardware sex bolts too. <laughs> yeah, sex bolts, Chicago screws, um, same thing. Yeah, yep, there you go, McMaster car. Yep. <clears throat> so you can find that literally. I mean they're millions of SKU numbers in there it's insane how much stuff they carry but billions and billions of sex bolts yep and all kinds of stuff so um fastenal didn't have what i was looking for but mcmaster car did so <laughs> tom <laughs> you love cheap screws of course you do you hussy <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice <laughs> Right on, guys. Well, anybody else have any uh, questions or anything? Anything else you want to see before we call this a night? Well, you showed up too late, old, Super Sis. The whole Super Sis coming in late. So. You done missed out. Yep. We got That's your it. knife right here, though, bud. Yep. This is it. For those nasty logs you lay down. Yeah, here's the packaging for it if you want to check it out. I don't so you'll have to you'll have to go back in the show and check out the old poop knife. It's pretty funny. I don't want anything to do with your balls. 
thank you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can't find him. Aww. I think he's still waiting for him to drop. Yeah. But anyway. His mama probably castrated him. <laughs> oh. What is the white you have on the purple Tucson? Um, it's not white. It's uh, they're Celtic knots. And then there's a little little logo there on the pocket clip. Um, just putting little artwork, if you will, or logo on there, doing some anodizing work. Hey, don't talk about my mama. I can make you feel real bad right now. Yeah, that's fine. You can direct that at me. Um, so, yeah, the uh, just doing some little artwork on the knives and like that one. And then here's another one. Did some logos on or, you know, just some artworks, if, if you will. What? He says impossible. Impossible what? To make him feel bad. Oh, yeah, let's just not go there. It's Mother's Day. Right. Um, that's fine. You want to rip on my mom, go ahead. Not a big deal. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, so if you want to check out how I did this mm -hmm. kind of stuff, um, I've got a knife mod playlist. Um, you can check that out. And, yeah, I got a bunch of different anodizing videos and whatnot and mod work and stuff like that this kind of thing here doing two-tone colors and what have you and doing this style of anodizing like in tropic finish or psychedelic whatever you want to call it so um, i've got videos showing all that kind of stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah it's jt who we did that other knife for that uh Had yeah okay. yes yeah the the t uh, ts52 he said that pattern looks oddly familiar and yeah makes... this was actually the test for yours uh jt um but we were cutting different logos and trying to get the shape to fit right and with the shape of the knife and what have you um and the holes that are in it and doing all sorts of different mm -hmm. things so gotta do testies then <laughs> got stuff like this that's gold and purple uh so, yeah, just some cool stuff, different things. And so are you, are you digging that thing, JT? Action on it's good and all that good stuff? He says he wants the TS-232 and have you customize it like yours. And he yeah. said, heck yeah. Yeah, this is a cool knife for sure. The 232 is a great knife. I really, really like it. The Barlow design is oh, just kind of timeless. And it's great in the hand. Um, the... The jig titanium is just super well done and gives a lot of visual interest as well. And uh, action's great. Yeah, it's just a great knife all the way around. Things like 10 thousandths behind the edge. And yeah, just an awesome little EDC knife. And you can pick these up pretty cheap. So. A cheap blade in case. I'm, oh, yeah. Um, hey Gerald, what's going on, man? Haven't talked to you for a while. Thank you. I like the color as well. If the, if you're talking about this one, um, uh, yeah, turned out pretty good. I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, the way the light dances on. <laughs> yeah, that right. <laughs> Isn't that what you said? <laughs> yeah, and then you made fun of me yeah, about it. I did. Um, you know I did. Yeah. So. Yeah, if you screw it up, the good part about it is it's metal. You can. Uh, Clean it off and start over, re-etch it, do whatever you got to do, sand it down. So you can't really screw them up beyond repair unless you do something real dumb. So I'm not saying that you, it, they're impossible to to totally destroy because that is possible, but you've got to do something real dumb. Real drastic. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well. Anyone else got any other questions or anything? Shimmers in the Want to see anything else? <laughs> What's that? A man can be good with craft without being fruity. I know. I just like to tease. Yeah. When I was doing the anno on this knife and I said, like, during that video, Molly was doing some camera work for me. And I said, 
something like, look at the way the light dances off the scale, and, and she's like, good God, you're gay, or something. I don't well, remember what she said. I don't but, think I said that. But oh, okay. Well, she said something along those lines. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, he's just in touch with this feminine side. One, this one's something we haven't talked about tonight. What do you guys think of the the Emerson PM two? Yeah. Molly doesn't like it. <laughs> if uh, for those that haven't seen this thing yet, the blade stock on this thing is. It's a beast compared to a standard. The this one here, this is the S forty five PM two. Uh, <laughs> you can see the difference in blade stock there. It's it's pretty crazy, but something different that's for sure. You got this uh, saber ground S thirty V. You're not wrong, BJ. What's that? Huh? You said, but that's what she meant. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Regular PM2 is better. Yeah, it's it's definitely an interesting one. Um, the wave feature on it works perfectly, so that's uh, you know I didn't I guess I I didn't expect it not to really, but it's uh, that's just asking for a hospital trip for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a cool one for sure. I think it's something different, something cool. Waiting, waiting for, for the, the Joe Jumbo, yeah. No doubt, man. I, I am too. I'm looking forward to that one for sure. I like four inch knives, like this one. If I can get Whoa. it open there, <laughs> the Hornet too. I like bigger knives, and uh, the Yo Jumbo, the, the Yo Jumbo too. I, I like the knife. It's just too small for me. Um, the handle tapers down so much in the back that I just never really cared for it that much. So now that they're making a, a larger version. I'm I'm definitely all in on that one. <clears throat> all right. Well, uh, are we good? Yeah, I gotta go to bed. I got that job to go to. Yeah, you I got know, to, my yeah, new back. job that I never worked before. <laughs> back, I was just tending to my husband. <laughs> back to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, guys. Uh, for the winners tonight, uh, make sure you email me, Taz and Joseph. Uh, and send me your info so I can get this stuff sent out to you guys. And, yeah, anybody else uh, got any questions or whatever, send me emails. Ooh, Ginger? Is that how you say that? Sean says there's a band called Ginger, and they're progressive metal with a female vocalist, and he thinks we might like him. Nice. Maybe. We'll check them out. Yeah, sounds, I'm definitely interested. Heck Yeah. I better write that down. Yeah. She's old. She'll forget. You should see my list of books to read and <laughs> podcasts to listen to. She's got a rock and stereo in her car, though. So so if the music's good, she'll rock it out okay. like no other. I bump it like I was in high school. I'm not ashamed. Yeah. Version of Pisces. Hey, I'm a Pisces. Thanks, BJ. I appreciate it, man. I'm glad you had a good time and... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with us. He thanked uh, me. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, BJ. It says you too, Justin. You're an afterthought. Oh, I'm an afterthought. Yeah. Here we go. Tatiana mm. is a beast on vocals. Ah. Nice. I'll definitely check it out. Yeah. Tatiana. I I bet I can sing just as good as her when I'm <laughs> oh, driving oh, down the road. When you're driving down the road, I'm yeah. a phenomenal singer when I'm driving <laughs> down the road. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming and uh, hanging out with us tonight. And we will talk to you next time. Bye, Have a good guys. one, guys. Thanks. Thanks.